2018 Ford Mustang EcoBoost Quick Spin Reviews Vertical Bar Main Ride is a must have. Happy Mustang Day. On April 17, 1964, the original pony car was introduced to the world and the phenomenon was born. So, to honor one of the greatest American cars that ever existed and continue to be, let's quickly spin in the latest version, the Ford Mustang 2018 which received a number of key updates this year. Now, when first driving a Mustang GT350, it is not a prominent voodoo engine. Sure, it's really rad, but it's really the latest Shelby trip that makes the biggest impression. What was supposed to be the loudest Mustang ever sold to the public, and it sucked up such sidewalk piles tuned by Temper Pedic. Compare this with a regular Ford Mustang, EcoBoost or GT, with performance packages that are too hard and uncomfortable driving every day. Sure, there are benefits of handling, but with EcoBoost at least, the car is not enough of the total performance package to guarantee that trip, and therefore, guarantee buying a car in the first place. Well, the GT350 dampening main ride system can now be added as a $1,695 option to the $2,495 EcoBoost performance package for Ford Mustang 2018. However, both must be completely inseparable, because the luxurious magnetic damper radically changes and improves the Mustang. They are quite simple to buy. Economics. The engine will definitely look stronger than Eco which only travel 24 miles per gallon, even though most of the time is spent in the 55, 60 miles per hour range on rural highways. Backtrack to climb, of course, but also down. As for the 2.3 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder EcoBoost engine, there is no one to be let down around the city. It's really paired with a car, especially if you see it as a daily driver or something to travel over land. However, the performance option is still not. In addition to the sound being evidence A in the case of automotive cognitive dissonance, Mustang plus hot engine hatch growling, it's just not strong enough there. And really, thought Ford could offer the EcoBoost V6 between 4 and V8. There is so much performance and price gap between them live on a V8 fuel bill every day, but 4 cylinders will make me want power and I forever feel ashamed of getting a Mustang with half cylinder as many as everyone knows it should be. Mustang must have a V8. None of the EcoBoost business, says a gas station attendant who is mandated by Oregon without realizing that he is actually talking to someone who, most assuming, has spent $42,000 on the EcoBoost business. EcoBoost V6 fuel economy, in terms of perception, it will be fine. After all, Raptor and GT have EcoBoost V6 engine. It can make me happy living by having two fewer cylinders than my mother's 1970 note notchback, especially since it will almost certainly have a higher output. EcoBoost section, Mustang 2018 with main ride suspension option. Together they created a great GT car, capable quickly, comfortably, and stylishly and really, that's what Mustang has from the beginning.